actual moonshot is wonderful, inspirational, poetic, beautiful, involved, great technical challenges, genuine heroism. It brought the world together. But think about the Polynesian Islander on the dugout canoe, deciding one day they were gonna go that way. No one had ever been that way before. No one even knew if there was anything that way before. It was amazing and it changed the world. People can set their minds to magical, seemingly impossible ideas, and then through science and technology, bring them to reality. And that then sets other people on fire, that other things that look impossible might be accomplishable. Many years ago, the great British explorer, George Mallory, who was to die on Mount Everest, was asked why did he want to climb it. He said because it is there. Everyone else in the world is working on that next 10%. If you can be the one that delivers that 10 times improvement, you have a chance to really change things. If you want cars to run at 50 miles per gallon, fine, you can retool your car a little bit. But if I tell you it has to run on a gallon of gas for 500 miles, you have to start over. You need a lot of courage in this work and you need a lot of persistence. Even if you don't really 100% believe it's possible, like you might think this might be possible. Have the courage to try. That's how the greatest things have happened. You don't spend your time being bothered that you can't teleport from here to Japan because there's a part of you that thinks it's impossible. Moonshot thinking is choosing to be bothered by that. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Humanity's progress has been a series of amazing, audacious things from the very small and personal up to the great, big, and grand, and we are a species of moonshots. And to me, that's like the really amazing, poetic, and inspirational thing. When you find your passion, you're unstoppable. You can make amazing things happen. It's been true through all of history. When Kennedy said that we would put a man on the moon, it's about the fact that he said, we don't know how to do this yet, and we're going to do it anyway and that sends chills up everybody's spine. Because if that happens, what couldn't we do? Welcome to self -Rex. Um So I'm Megan Smith, and this is... Hey. <laughs> That's, I have a fan down there, John. And Punita Hera. And uh, when... Um, when we started SelfRex, the idea of it, actually, the original crazy idea was that when we had begun Google X, we were looking for projects, and we were going to have a conference to brainstorm. And so we started thinking about the conference, and then we had way too many ideas for Google X, and there was no way we could do any more. But we decided to still have the conference. And the reason for that is there's extraordinary people all around the world, and there always have been, who are just are inspired in, in taking these moonshots and really trying to make the world better in radical ways. And, and uh, many of them are techies, like us. And so we wanted to have a place where we could celebrate people who are in the middle of trying. Uh, not when they're in history books later, because they get celebrated, but in the middle of trying. You know that moment for like Elon Musk, I don't know, about five years ago, when people were like, the rockets are blowing up, Tesla, how's it gonna make money? You know, they just no one believed. And he needed help then. And I feel like those are the people that, that self-rex are really about. We call them these moonshot pioneers. And uh, the structure uh, of a moonshot, in our mind, of a tech moonshot, is, is really characterized by these three circles. There's some kind of problem in the world or opportunity that really would affect a lot of people that someone's identified. There's some kind of breakthrough technology. It might sound like science fiction, but it's available. Or some new way of doing something that we already know well in the tech area. And they've got a radical solution, a product or service or way that it actually could scale in the world. So even if you took something like uh, the self-driving car, the problem is, of course, you know, billions of people wasting time in traffic, uh, safety, texting and driving, all those kinds of issues, fuel, fuel efficiencies, really serious problem worth solving. The breakthrough technology today is, are things like uh, real-time sensors, the level of mapping we have, kind of robotics, et cetera, and that would allow us to, in a radical way, have a car drive itself in the current system, not kind of some kind of special rail. So that's the moonshot of the self-driving car. So today we're going to hear from uh, four extraordinary teams. The first one is actually a team of two, so it's five amazing people um, who are, have moonshots. Uh, and the format is the following. 
You want to tell the format? Yeah, yeah. sure. So we're going to have each of them come up on stage, present their 10-minute proposal to you, which goes through this format of, of what they're working on and what their breakthrough idea is and how they're going to do it. Um, and then after we hear from all of them, what we're going to do is in these tables that you guys are sitting in, to do an interactive brainstorming session to, to we borrowed this concept from improv, spend two thirds of your time thinking, yes, and what, what else could we do? What resources could we provide? What people could we connect these um, moonshot pioneers to that are really gonna accelerate how quickly they can get this out in the world? And then spend some of the time, a third of the time, doing yes, but. You know, what, does the math add up? Is the physics right? Does this make sense? What, what are maybe some of the blind spots or questions that might not have been asked before? Um, so we'll do that for about 25 minutes and then have each of the groups come back and report out. And it's actually the most fun, interesting part of the session where we get an explosion of different directions and ideas that come out of this. And, and the thing about it is that you might be like, oh my god, I don't know anything about these topics. But the best idea is sometimes on your table there's going to be somebody who's a super expert of the topic and somebody who knows nothing. And that mix is where we get the best ideas. And so we'll have enough so that we'll have uh, two tables per idea. And they're bringing more chairs. They said they'd be here in about five or 10 minutes. So we'll, we'll make another table back there. So that's the plan. And uh, thanks for being here. Um, and then we'll, we'll come do report outs. So we want to get started. It's, it's a bit, the style is kind of like a short TED-like talk these guys are going to do to make this proposal in the format. Um, Dan Kaufman and Chris White are from DARPA, and one of the, we call them DARPA Dan, it's just amazing working uh, on so many different solutions, including, thank you DARPA and ARPA for the internet. Um, but what I love is when um, some of the greatest challenges that in humanitarian and humanitarian areas, where someone starts to have a breakthrough with a tech solution that could really scale. And when Dan started to talk to me about the work that he and Chris were doing, it just was a, a tremendous uh, potential idea. And so they're going to talk about that. Mm -hmm.